content creator, Joey Garrity. I'm the founder of Superstar Women Entrepreneurs Media Network and Joey G113. I'm dedicated to empowering women entrepreneurs to create a beautiful, personal, and professional lifestyle by spotlighting superstar tools, tips, and resources that gain them ease and grace. Every episode, myself, along with a featured guest, share our Superstar Women Entrepreneurs journey on my globally recognized show, Superstar Women Entrepreneurs Spotlight with Joey. Hi, everyone. Welcome. Welcome to SWE Spotlight with Joey. I love spotlighting others. You can learn more about me, my services and products at JoeyG113. Um, and again, it's all about spotlighting. And I also love, love myself a swag and a red carpet. So today I'm going to be giving away my book, Being Your Own Superstar, How to Expand Your Love Capacity. Um, you can win by, I'll enter a drawing by putting in the comment section an aha or a takeaway from today's show. And then I'll make sure to do that announcement out there in the marketplace. Um, and so I have a really amazing guest today. And what she's up to is super cool, sisters and brothers. If you are have a podcast, want to be on podcasts, like want more superstardom, then you're going to want to know Kelly Smith for, for sure. So today's topic is how to get booked on podcasts with podcast booking agent, Kelly Smith. How cool is that, right? That I have a podcast, I have a podcast agent on today's show, yay. Um, let's just talk a little bit about Kelly and what she's been up to out there. Kelly Smith is the founder of podrep.pro, uh, a concierge podcast booking agency that connects guest experts with podcast hosts so they all gain more visibility, more fans, and more sales. She is an, Amer uh, she is an Amazon bestseller, um, of the podcast launch book. We're going to be talking about her book as well. She's also going to be sharing all kinds of tangible tips and tricks today with all of you. So let's bring her up from the green room. Hey, Kelly, how are you? Hey, hey thank you so much for having me here today. Oh, and goodness. let me correct something real quick. My book is the podcast launch playbook. Oh, I please. think John Dumas is the author of the podcast launch. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I'm not going to take credit for that. <laughs> there you go. Podcast launch playbook. Yes. Yeah. The podcast launch playbook sisters yes. out there. Yes, yes, yes. We'll be yes. talking more about the book in just a second. Right. So um, I want to jump right in, Kelly. Tell us a little bit about how you got on this journey of um, becoming a podcast booking agent. Oh my goodness. So I have been podcasting since early 2012. I've been a co-host at Geek Girl Soup and then a couple of my own podcasts, currently Podcast Launchpad. And I have been, and I'm also a podcast guest, of course, but as a host, I get pitches all the time to be on my show. And honestly, I reject more than 90% of them. Oh, really? Yes. They are, most of them are mediocre at best but honestly, really outright bad. And I feel so terrible for the potential guests because I'm sure that many of them would be great guests, but the pitches are just not good. So I don't have time to go through and look everyone up and come up with topics for them or you know, research their bios and all of that. So it's just like reject. And I decided I want to help people get booked on podcasts because yeah. one of the things that I've taught other clients and people on my show is that podcast guesting is a really powerful way to get more visibility, amplify your brand and get more fans and make more sales. <laughs> right. That's such a um, um, roll out the red carpet moment there. That share is so true. I think that how getting on podcasts, right, is the ultimate business card, really, right? Yes. And it's like you said, people are pitching. There's not endless shows out there. You would think there is. I read a stat recently, which I was really blown away by, but um, there's there's endless podcasts out there, but there's only 13% of them are actually doing shows. Exactly. The only 13% are active. And not all of those podcasts accept guests. Right. There's a lot of solo. Right. That's right. So you can't just pick a show that you like and send an email to them and say, hey, I'd be the perfect guest for your show. 
Number one, don't call yourself the perfect guest. Yeah. And expect them to accept you. You well, it, Instead of calling yourself a perfect guest, what would you suggest that people say? Okay. You, th this is a process, <laughs> right? Yeah. You need to do your research and yeah. really understand the podcast that you want to reach out to. First of all, to make sure it's the right fit for you. Yeah. So you need to make sure that you are finding podcasts that are the perfect fit for you as far as your niche, your industry, your target audience, and your goals. Yeah, sister. And when you reach out to that podcast host, do not call yourself the perfect guest because you haven't spoken to them. You don't know what makes the perfect guest for them. So don't be presumptuous like that. Yeah, I like to, I always lead with influence. That's what I think helps, you know? So I always lead with like a little bit about my background. I'm like, yes. I've been in Hollywood for 20 plus years. And, yep. Now- you know, what really makes an impact on the host is to tell them what kind of value you're going to bring to their listeners. Yes, sister. Podcast hosts, number one priority is to create value for our listeners. Yes. And if you can demonstrate how you will bring value to their listeners, yeah. you are going to be a standout guest in your pitch. Yeah, I love that, Kelly. I so agree. I so agree. I love your uh, I love your SWE step in your spotlight share here. I stepped into my own spotlight when I started my podcast booking agency, uh, PodRep.pro, where I can tell podcast guests and hosts how best to do the booking process and actually do it for them. I love that too. I don't think we should all be amazing at everything. I just don't. <laughs> Which is tough, you know, when when Lost. you are like what is it called? Multi-potentiate, you know, multi-passionate entrepreneurs. There's so many things that we're good at. And, you know, we resist picking like one thing to do. So yeah. True. And so when I chose podcasting, it's like, even within that, there's so many things I could do, but I am really passionate about podcast guesting and the, the stepping into my own spotlight with becoming a podcast uh, booking agent is that I was an ICF, International Coach Federation coach for years, certified coach. And I love coaching. I really respect coaches. But in ICF coaching, you are focused on asking your clients powerful questions, not giving advice. But I've got so much advice to give. And so many directions that I just want to tell my clients to, to go in. Now, I'm never pushy, of course, but if they're asking me, like, how do I do this? Yes. And I'm sorry, my whole screen just went blank. I apologize for that. So well, I'm still we, here. We, we see you fine. Yeah. Okay, great. Then I will just ignore that my screen went blank. Okay. So when my clients ask me, how do I do this? Then I want to be able to tell them. And in coaching, I couldn't do that. If you're joining us right now, we're talking about how to get booked on podcasts with podcast booking agent, Kelly Smith. I love that. I, I think there is a difference between being an agent and a coach, right? And they're both yes. fantastic, but really doing the heavy lifting for others and is, is such a spotlight moment. It's such a red carpet spotlight moment there, right? Because then you're sharing your gifts and talents with others and you're just helping them like go next level. And who doesn't want to be on more podcasts? Like, and right. again, it's work to do this, the research, create the relationships, right? All Absolutely. of that. All of just that more. Dozens of hours to get yes. on just a handful of shows. Yeah, exactly. You're just Like you said, all of that research to make sure that you would be an ideal fit. I prefer the word ideal, but you don't even say that to the host. No. Let, let's just go back to that again. You don't say ideal fit. You don't say perfect fit. It's yeah. all about demonstrating the value you will bring to their listeners. 
So everyone heard that, right? That's the big takeaway, right? What value are you bringing to their audience yes. is what you want to lead with. Yes. I have a question for you. Someone that ha has gone after their dream, what has happened on the journey that surprised you? Oh, toward my dream? Yeah. Oh my goodness. How many twists and turns I've taken to, I guess, narrow and really define that path and my niche. Um. Niching is so tough. And I have coached and guided people on picking their niche. And I've always called it that picking your niche. I think your niche often finds you. And it's a matter of refining the niche as you go. I totally agree. I, in my second book, um, Being Your Own Superstar, How to Expand Your Love Capacity, um, you all, you can grab it on Amazon out there. I talk, talk about my days in Hollywood of working in Hollywood and how, how it really also comes down to, I believe, when you really, when you get really clear, it has to come down to your inner game. Yes. right? Your inner game and be able to accept, allow and receive sister. Yes. Right. And so that's when I jumped into this, into the live stream podcast world, because I was ready to allow, receive and accept because there is notoriety around it. Yes. There is notoriety around it. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Sister. I love your tip here that you share here. It's so interesting about how you talking about here. Um, <laughs> I know you've downloaded every lead magnet and taken every course. So take what works for you and make it work and make it work for you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and that so what I mean by that, I mean, it's true, right? Especially yes. when we first get started in business, we are looking for this magic bullet that is going to direct us and help us make all the money and make our business successful. And we think that one person is going to have all the answers for us. And when that doesn't happen, then we're like, oh, this will do it. This will do it. So we download every lead magnet, take all the courses. We all do it. It's understandable. And it gets overwhelming and confusing. And I am about blazing your own trail. So we have to really take the bits and pieces from everything we've bought and downloaded and create our own thing. Take what works, each piece that works and make it our own. Well, that's such a big scream moment share there, right? It's just like, it's like you still have, there's only one you, there's only one right. unique you, right? So you're saying put your uniqueness on top of all the gems. I call them gems and diamonds that you're, that you're, you're, you're pocketing along the way. Yes. Um, I also, we also at SWE Media Network, we have a resource center and you all can go there. If you're a woman entrepreneur, you can go there. We have all of our podcasts there. We also have all of our live shows there as well. And we're covering everything from branding, marketing, because I don't want people to run around and take 3000 courses. And because you, because I've also watched people's doors close. Yes. Right. Because yes. they didn't have the they didn't have the 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 road enough of the road in front of them. Right. Right. And so instead, this is a big part of my purpose. I want to put everything in one place as much as we can, as much as we can. So people can so women entrepreneurs can consume as much information as fast as they can and get that thriving earning business going out there. Absolutely. And that's what I've done at a continue to do at my podcast, Podcast Launchpad, is I tell the listeners, I, I don't want you to c continue Googling for all of these answers. Right. So listen to the podcast. Now that means you've got to trust me, right. Right? right? So just listen to the podcast. I make suggestions. Like I don't say, try out, you know, I don't give a list of like 20 microphones for example no no please i narrow it down to like three <laughs> that's good and that's it and that's you know like different budgets that's it and ultimately yeah. i say here's a starter mic and here's an upgrade mic 
Sure. And then I've tried other mics since then. So I've come back and I said, okay, now here's this mic. Here's what I really recommend. And I went back and put a link in the oldest show saying, go check this out. Yeah, I totally agree too. We're not here to overwhelm. No. Even in a resource center, um, all the content creators, all women entrepreneurs themselves, right? They give bite size, but, but real tangibles right. that have helped plus having featured guests like yourself on, right? Yeah. And what did Kelly share with us earlier? Lead with your value. How are you going to give value to your audience out there? That's golden. Yeah. That's golden, right? That's golden. Um, I want to share the SW Spotlight Share with Joey. Create relationships with podcasts or in the podcast arena. People support those that they know, like, and trust. Yes. Right? That is excellent. Yep. It is, it is difficult to cold pitch. Yes, sister. And for hosts to cold pitch guests. That's that's easier, but not not easy, but easier. But sure. to cold pitch hosts to get on your show, again, we receive so many pitches. And the majority of the pitches are really terrible. And we don't have time to go do the work for you. No. I no. mean, I get too Let's many people do the work for you. <laughs> yes. Yes. I have That's time. Really good. I have time as a podcast booking agent to do the work for sure. you. But we don't have the time for that. As a host, as a podcast host, I don't have time. Too many potential guests will not give me a specific topic in oh, their wow. pitch. Oh, wow. They're and, probably going to go pick for me. You're like, I can't pick for you. Right. Because I'm not you. And frankly, I'm busy. So pick exactly. Me. They That's give me this big, long... Kit. Everyone should have a media kit because you're talking yes. around there, right? Exactly. I mean, and I create that. Yeah. Not okay. as a host, as an agent. Yeah, as an agent, right? But right. that's so important to, to have a media kit. Do you know why people don't have media kits? I'm like, like what? I'm on, yeah. again, Kelly Smith. Create media kits for everyone out yes. there, right? Because yes. it's so helpful. That, therefore, you just add the link. Yes. I have eight topic headers in there so people can just pick or I just pick one for them from there. Yes. yes. Right. Um, my, my, uh, my first book, the red carpet guide to visibility and influence. This is my journey around influence. What I learned in Hollywood, but it's a tangible marketing step-by-step -step, mm -hmm. tangible marketing campaign, which people can put together. And here's, here's the side note to that, uh, sisters, right. Um, is that you really want to put together something that uh, a three month, three month marketing, social media marketing campaign. And if you're coming out with a book and an author, a full year in yes. advance before your book drops. Yes. Before your book drops. And Kelly's like, yes, yes. Right. <laughs> right? And a podcast tour is so helpful with that. Yeah. You know, not just staying on social media, but getting yourself out there as a guest on podcasts, expanding your audience that, you know, that's reaching new audiences, people yes. who have never heard about you before and being okay. like, Oh my gosh, I need to check out her book. Oh yeah. Well, you know, by the time you come up with the book, us both being authors, we know how exhausting it is. And so a lot of times authors don't want to do anything after. And I'm like, no, 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 no. Start a year before your book's going to drop. Yeah. Let's talk about your book, the podcast launch playbook. Mm -hmm. I love that playbook. Yeah. That's cool, sister. <laughs> so tell, tell us a little bit more about that. So this is a simple guide to help you launch your own podcast. Oh it goes through everything from, you know, you don't have to know anything about podcasting at all. You don't have to have any previous experience. You don't have to have any equipment already. I go through, I give suggestions for everything. I tell you how to set everything up, including getting set up in a podcast hosting provider and getting yourself on Apple Podcasts. Well, okay, get this everyone immediately. <laughs> Some tidbits on promoting your podcast. Yeah. I mean, all the essentials, it's right there. You can totally I, do it just from my book. I mean, I, I was I was um, taught the live stream arena by masters. So that I know like the back of my hand. When I jumped in the podcasting world, I'm like, this is a whole other animal. 
it's it's and, and it's very it's a whole different detail animal so get her book it will save you so much heart heartache i now can call my i now have become very well versed in podcasting yes, right but when i was when entry point it's a trip yeah it's a trip how detailed it is how technology based it is how many different platforms it is and how you get on the platforms i think for anyone out there who hasn't done a podcast might surprise you yeah. actually it's a lot it's a lot like the movie industry in some ways because the studios are just they're just the content provider right. that's getting the pieces to the streams or to the movie theater right right so a little that's a little hint everyone there's a back end that does that for you <laughs> very very true that's, that's a true. great analogy yeah. um i have a question for you what about the challenges as you've gone through this journey? Is, is there a piece of advice you would give, give someone out there that wants to either launch a podcast or, or has started a podcast, but wants to get on more podcasts now? Okay. Yeah. If you are already a podcast host, it is excellent to get on other people's podcasts as a guest. It is really a powerful way to promote your podcast and to get more listeners that way when you, and, and if you don't have your own podcast, still podcast guesting to promote a book, to amplify your brand, get more visibility when you're on another podcast, unless, you know, it's a journalistic podcast, right? So put those aside. The host is essentially endorsing you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And their loyal listeners trust the host. And so when they have a guest on whom they are essentially endorsing, the listeners are paying attention to that and are going to be more likely to go check out the guest stuff, the website, their links, their book, their podcast. Now you are not selling during the interview. You're yep. waiting until the host asks you to share whatever it is that you've told them you'd like to share. So during the interview, it's all about building the no like trust factor. So the listeners get to know you during the interview. And then at the end, usually you get to promote something and it's still not a sell, right? It's you're sharing your thing and then they go check it out. Again, the host is endorsing you. Yeah, so they are likely to go check you out. I love that. I love that. You can learn more about Kelly Smith here too. I also have it in the uh, shout outs at uh, podrep.pro. Um, and again, if you're, if you're just tuning in or just um, joining us now, we are talking all about how you can get booked on podcasts with podcast booking agent, Kelly Smith. Kelly, you're such a delight. I love how I love that. I love that you are a podcast booking agent. I think it is so cool and so chic and it's so true. People need that out there. Yes. Um, we'll have all of our contact information, but also tell people how they can find you too in other ways. So obviously podrep.pro, you can find me at LinkedIn. Uh, Kelly Smith. Oh, actually it's, you can type in linkedin.com and then Angela Kelly Smith is what right. it is there. That's the tail that, yes. there. Yeah. At LinkedIn. Yes. So I go by Kelly. The first name is legally Angela. So that's what I took on LinkedIn sure. and uh, Instagram, Angela.Kelly.Smith. Awesome. But I go by Kelly. I love it, Kelly. Kelly Smith. I so appreciate yes. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I thank you it. so much, Joy. This has yeah. been awesome. I appreciate everything you do and all of your encouragement and suggestions. You are awesome. Oh, thank you, sister. Thank you. I'm going to drop you down in the green room and go grab yourself a mocktail. All right. Thank you, sister. Thank you. Isn't she? She's cool. Huh? What she's doing is really cool right? You want to get a hold of her because you want to get on more shows, doing the legwork. It's, it's a drag. I mean, I know, right? I have my own show. I have endless people asking to be on the show and she's right. I don't say yes a whole lot because of the, the way that the entry point with me, or they didn't really leverage 
what they're going to share, what their values about. So I, and I don't know them personally, right? Kelly and I met at PodFest in uh, this year, 2023, January, 2023. We're both on the same stage. We immediately hit it off. We've been building a relationship ever since. So build those relationships out there, sisters and brothers, because let me tell you, that's what this is around about. Um, I always end it like this. It's your birthright to stand in your spotlight and be your own superstar woman entrepreneur. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. It's literally your birthright to have a thriving, growing business out there. So make sure that you're doing that for yourself and that you're standing in that. You can join me for another episode of Superstar Women Entrepreneur Spotlight with Joey um, next Wednesday at 8 a.m. and Pacific Coast time and 10 a.m. Central Coast time. And make sure to um, to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Superstar Women Entrepreneurs Media Network on YouTube, on YouTube, um, and support women entrepreneurs out there. And if you're a woman entrepreneur, it's an incredible resource too, an incredible resource. So until next time, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, everyone, and I appreciate you so very much. Have the best week ever, and I'll see you next week. Thank you for joining me today. You can learn more about me, my products and services at joeyg113.com. Make sure to join me for another episode every Wednesday at 8 a.m. Pacific Coast time on my globally recognized show, SWE Spotlight with Joey.